Hi there, my name is Lo. Welcome to my channel where I discuss everything between Hermes and grocery bags. And we are doing another unboxing today. Without further ado, let's just open the box and let's see what is in here. The box is very non-descriptive. But I will tell you where I got it from, of course. <laughs> it is from 24S. I love the packaging from these guys. Just look how beautiful this box is on the inside. I think really this is the store that gets the best packaging from all of the luxury retailers. And it comes in that bag as well. But of course, the thing we care about is in here. Let me move this box to the side. It's so beautiful though. Look even on the bottom of the bag. Okay, let's not get distracted. I finally managed to get my hands with a discount on the bag I've been eyeing for so long. Oh gosh, it's so cute. So this is the Marc Jacobs, the toad in the micro size. I just did a little round of inspection because occasionally some things go wrong with this bag. I've seen other people on YouTube unboxing these bags and then having some issues with the stitching, for example, but this one just looks perfect. I think it's both a bit darker and a bit more orange than I had expected. I never had this color from the Marc Jacobs the tote bag before, so this is the Argan Oil. But for those who have seen my other videos on the Marc Jacobs the tote bag, you might know that I have all sizes now and all of them are in fairly neutral colors. So I have a black one, I have a twine one, a cement one, and I really wanted to complement this with the Argan oil one but initially that didn't come to market they mostly brought out some lighter colors and just some more like colorful colors and it was black of course but i already had black and i know i don't do very well with these type of tan bags if they are in really big sizes so also i didn't really want to double up on any of the other Marc jacobs the tote sizes so at some point i saw that this came out and i was so excited but then unfortunately they had also already gone through a price increase and if i would have bought this for recommended retail price honestly it would have been the most that i would have ever paid for a Marc Jacobs the tote bag. So fortunately for some reason a discount code for my birthday popped up so either they were really early or I just gave up some random date for my birthday which I will occasionally do because then often you just get random coupons throughout the years for websites so I managed to at least get 20% off because I really wanted to have this color. I was a bit reluctant to wait all that much longer just to wait for it to go on sale so I decided not to do that and now I have it and it's really it's so cute jesus cute that's with the strap of course also great job on the packaging from 24s i think this can honestly be quite a spacious bag but yeah i was just here to film the unboxing and film my first impression so like i've done with other videos i'm going to let this sit for a while or i mean i love this i'll probably start using this tomorrow and then once i've done that i'll come back with a review and i'm also very excited that now the family of mark jacobs the tote bags is complete I can also do a full comparison of the whole family. So definitely also stay tuned for that one. All right, so I'm back. I think it's only two days later, but this was such an obvious not going to return bag for me. I didn't even let it sit in my closet. The next day I just took it out for the whole day and it was just really nice. It was everything I had expected from this bag and frankly, even more. So let's do a review. I'm going to discuss the exterior, the interior, pros and cons, a recommendation. As you can see, the bag is a little bit bulged up right now, so it's distorting a little bit. That's because I'm also going to do a what's in my bag. Technically a little bit more than what's in my bag because I really stuffed it to the brim, but I really wanted to show you how much fits in this bag. Because every time I get a Marc Jacobs to tote bag, I'm surprised by how much actually fits in it. But I think this micro tote has been the most surprising one thus far. So let's get started. We have here the Marc Jacobs the tote bag in the size micro and in the color 
argan oil. As you are probably well aware, this bag comes in numerous different colors and in four different sizes. So this is the smallest one. Then there's the mini, the medium, formerly known as the small and the large. There's not all that much hardware on this bag, but the color of the hardware is gold. The material of this bag is cowhide and the dimensions are as follows. 18 centimeters in width or 7.1 inches. The height is 15 centimeters or 5.9 inches and the depth is 10 centimeters or 3.9 inches. So it has a pretty decent depth to it. The weight of this bag without any contents is 355 grams or 0.8 pounds. Let me just give you a tour of the bag. So here on the front we have the typical the tote bag from Marc Jacobs. Moving on to the side here. Normally there is a magnet in this little tab of leather over here to which the tab on the end of the zipper can connect. I have tucked the zipper in but here it is. There's no magnet in either one of these. You can still stuff the zipper below this tab of course but it will not be held in place with a magnet. Moving on to the back which has the typical Marc Jacobs the tote plaque which has Marc Jacobs style the tote bag location NYC year 1984. Then on this end nothing is going on. The stitching you see on top over here is because this is where the leather is attached on the inside for the D-ring. This bag has a zippered closure as all of the Marc Jacobs the tote bags and it doesn't have any feet which again I was expecting because those are also on none of my other Marc Jacobs the tote bags. Moving on to the strap. The straps attach with D-rings on the inside of the bag so if you want to wear this as a top handle the D-rings are nicely hidden away which is a good feature. Clasps are easy to use and they also swivel. The strap is more narrow on this micro tote bag than on the other Marc Jacobs the tote bag that come with a crossbody strap. For reference this gray one is the strap from my mini Marc Jacobs the tote bag. It's perhaps not such a big deal for this bag as it is also a much smaller bag. The length of the strap is between 112 and 130 centimeters which is between 44 and 51 inches. It has five different settings and the strap is easily adjustable. Yes it is one of those situations where you have to put the hole off the strap over a stud but the holes in this case on the strap are pretty big so it's easy to adjust and you also have this additional piece of leather to keep the strap in place although I have noticed that this tends to creep up a bit as you are wearing it. Then of course there's also the two top handles. The handle drop on these top handles are 8 centimeters or 3.1 inches. It carries very comfortably in the hand. You can also slide your hand through and wear it on the wrist but it's not a crook of the arm bag or at least not for me. It doesn't slide much further than halfway down my underarm but it's still quite convenient in case you are not using the shoulder strap and you need to get the bag out of the way for a couple of seconds. At least you can wear it on your wrist or underarm. Then let's move on to what is in my bag because as you can see there's quite a lot in there. It's really bulging right now and because there is this water bottle on top it might be a little bit hard to see but yes this bag as small as it is it actually fits a small water bottle and this is not even the smallest water bottle that I have. This is 350 milliliters but that's about the equivalent of a can of soda. So I think Probably that would also fit in here, but I don't have one on hand. Then I have a case of sunglasses. I don't really like to stuff my bags to the brim. So what I've done in the past few days is just put my sunglasses on my face. Don't carry this hard case, but I took a soft case with me in case I needed to take off my sunglasses for a bit that at least they had a little bit of protection. So I just put them in a soft sleeve. My phone, my Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, Four, it's folded now, but as you can see, this bag will also easily hold this phone. Perhaps this is not the biggest phone around, but it's still 17 centimeters if it's opened up, so I would consider that to be pretty big. Then I also brought a canvas pouch because I went shopping these past few days. I had a granola bar in there in case I got hungry, which well, I didn't because it's still in there. And then last but not least, my pouch with my essentials. 
So this has my Bottega card holder, my Samsung Galaxy earbuds, box of mints, house keys, lip balm, paracetamol, two euro coin, and a bobby pin, which is always lost in here and gets stuck to everything, but whatever. So I can already tell this is probably going to be a favorite of mine for, well, definitely at least the coming time, but perhaps even for years to come, because this is a bag that just fits that little bit more. So it's really not all that big in that sense, So, but it's really nice that it just holds my pouch, holds my sunglasses and my phone, and I can toss that in without any issue. This baby really has so much capacity. It's always hard to show, so let me just add a little flashlight for my phone over here, but just have a look at how big this is for such a tiny bag. I am really, really impressed. The interior of this bag is just completely leather lined. There's a little bit of cotton fabric on the base. There's no interior pockets on this bag, which is perhaps a bit surprising or not like the Marc Jacobs the tote bag in that sense, because even on the mini you at least have this flap on the inside for some internal organization. But again, because it is a micro bag or the smallest bag around. Perhaps the need for internal organization is not that big, but nonetheless it was something that I noticed. So yeah, I think that covers the interior and what fits in my bag. I can already tell that this bag is not big enough to hold a bigger water bottle or an A5 notebook, so I'm not going to pull out those items to show you that they cannot fit. It just doesn't have the width to it to fit these larger items. I forgot to point this out at the beginning, but I was also planning to do a little bit of a size comparison between the micro and the mini. Now that I also have the micro in the family, I'm going to do a full size and specs comparison of all the Marc Jacobs the tote bags, but I think these two make most sense to compare, so you can see that it actually does make quite a lot of difference between the micro and the mini. And let me also show you the base. So even though the micro is surprisingly spacious, if you need to carry a little bit more stuff and you want to carry it comfortably, so if a water bottle or a notebook is something that you want to carry every day, then the mini is still the most logical size, I think. But if you're just running out with a pair of sunglasses, your wallet, keys and your phone, then the micro will already definitely hold that. I think it is a really good size. Sometimes you see the popular bags are scaled down to a point where they pretty much lose all functionality. I feel that quite a bit about the smallest version of the Givenchy Antigona and I'm not sure if it's the nano or the micro, but in any case, sometimes bags are really scaled down to the point that they cannot fit a phone anymore. And in this case, I think they've done a pretty decent job with the size of this Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. And it would have struck me as highly ironic if something that's called the tote bag wouldn't actually hold any stuff. Okay, then let's talk pros and cons. You might think this is going to be hard because I'm in love with this bag and yes, I am, but I do have a couple of things to notice about this bag, but let's start off with the pros. The biggest pro for me is that this is still surprisingly spacious. This is a really, really good and convenient size for me. I think this is a bag I'm going to gravitate towards because it's not too big, but it does fit all of my essentials with ease. Then of course we have all of the regular pros of the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. So the zipper makes it secure yet easy to open. You might have to pull on the zipper over here if you want to pull it shut, but you can definitely open it up with one hand. The Marc Jacobs the tote bags are very versatile, at least in the smaller sizes, so you can wear it as a top handle. Wear it over the wrist. It's unlike the other Marc Jacobs the tote bags with shorter top handles, not a crook of the arm bag, but at least you can get it out of the way. Comes with a crossbody strap that you can easily attach, detach, change the length on. So that's just really nice. I've been noticing with my mini mostly that if I'm wearing it for a longer time, I do like to switch 
up the way that I'm carrying it. And I also noticed today as I was walking around that sometimes I just held it in my hand, sometimes over the shoulder, and I also wore it crossbody. And I'm not doing that because it's heavy in any way, but it's been getting warmer and I was fiddling around with my denim jacket. And sometimes you just need to figure out what the most comfortable way of carrying your bag is. And then lastly, what I always like to point out on the Marc Jacobs tote bag is just the quality of the leather. So it's really, really thick leather, which usually makes these bags quite heavy. I'm quite surprised, frankly, by how light this one actually is, even for a full leather tote. I really, really like this color as well. I know it's terribly subjective. That's all for the pros than for the cons. And in all honesty, the cons are not going to be so conny as they have been with some other bags that I've reviewed, but I do want to point them out. So what I don't like about this bag is that because it is the micro, it is not like a 100% the Marc Jacobs the tote bag anymore. I think the magnet that you usually have over here is really one of those classic elements of this bag. Let me just show you on the mini. So we always have this magnet, as you can hear, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, you don't have that on this one. And I can imagine that they left it out because there was just not enough space to put a magnet on this. But yeah, it's just one of those things that doesn't make it 100% the Marc Jacobs the tote bag, at least in my opinion. Also, the fact that there was no flap on the inside for interior organization. It's not a massive con, but it is there in all of the other Marc Jacobs the tote bag, be it if I remember correctly, also with a bit of variation. So I think the medium and the large also have a zipper compartment and the mini doesn't, but yeah, this one doesn't have any internal organization at all. So it's not absolutely necessary, but it is a bit of a pity because it just makes me feel like it's kind of underdeveloped or something like this bag still needs to be born and it hasn't grown all of its full features. <laughs> I know that's a silly way to approach it, um, but that's a little bit of how it feels. However, this bag has been created, so I'm pretty sure it's not going to grow any more features that its bigger siblings have. Related to this, as I already pointed out, there is no internal organization to this bag. That's not a big deal for me because I will always just put my stuff in pouches. I don't really need internal organization on bags. Something that's typical to Demar Jacobs, the tote bag, but that can be a downside for people is that it doesn't have any feet. And then the last observation is that this strap is pretty thin compared to other Marc Jacobs the tote sizes. Again, not a very big deal. It does feel a little bit more flimsy, but just not really flimsy in general. I'm not sure. Perhaps it would have been nice if they would have just made it the same strap as for the other Marc Jacobs the tote bags, but could also be that that would have blown it out of proportion. Not a very big deal, but it does add to the whole feeling of this bag is not quite like its bigger brothers and sisters. It's still super cute though, so I think I will get over it perfectly fine. Then ending with my recommendation, I guess you can already think of what I'm going to say. Yes, I recommend this bag. It's a very good size, at least for me. It is versatile, it is secure yet easily accessible. The leather on this bag is really decent. And because the size is not too big, you don't really suffer from the weight of all the leather that is in this bag. I don't have a lot of experience with this yet. If for some reason I change my mind about this, I will definitely let you know. But I see a bright future ahead of us. So that is it for now. Hope you found this useful and or enjoyable. If you have any questions for me about this bag, feel free to drop them down below and I'll get back to you. Remember for now, there's a styling, a situation and a taste for everything. So don't judge, wear whatever the bag you like. Until next time, or as we would say in Dutch, doei! <laughs>